So what's this mean? Uh, perhaps you a you table on the wall. Right. So that's how he wants to have a chance to come to because he wants to get something. Good evening, everybody. It is so wonderful to see all of you here. I just want you to imagine for a second. We need three more minutes. We need forever. We're never done learning. We're never done learning. So I just want you to imagine for a second, okay? The Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, is sitting and looking down on earth. And he zooms into Houston, Texas, and he sees an unbelievable crowd of people here tonight learning Torah. Do you think it makes him happy? I mean, come on. This is it's true. It's unbelievable. It really is incredible. So I want to thank each and every one of you for coming here tonight, and I look forward to seeing you next week. And I want to wish, I want a really a rousing applause here for our director of Partners in Toro, who's back here tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back. We miss you, and we're so uh, thankful that you're back. So without any further ado, this is good evening. I do appreciate coming back and seeing the room really full with all of you learning Torah. And it was really beautiful. I don't know if any of you saw my post I posted. I'm really excited to come back and hear all the Torah learning again at the Torch Center. Like the hums of everyone speaking and learning Torah together. And I'm really, I really did miss it and I'm really happy to be back. As hard as it is to come. Uh, and I'm sure it's hard for all of you. Um, it's especially harder now for me. But I'm happy to be back and to... Um, to really be a part of this. So thank you all for helping me to be a part of all of this. So really thank you. Okay. Um, that was not the fairest, so I'm sorry for that. Okay, so um, I just want to introduce tonight, our speaker tonight is um, someone that has been part of the Torch YP. And if you know anyone, anyone that wants to join Torch YP and Partners of Torah, please spread the word. We have great, great programs and great learning opportunities. Just needed to plug that in for a second. I haven't done that in a while. Okay, um, so he recently came back from a three-week learning in yeshiva in Israel. So um, he would like to share his own experience and his revelations um, at, in, in, in yeshiva in Israel. So um, David Mikhailov, I hope I pronounced that correct. Did I pronounce it? Yeah? You did great. You did great. Okay. Great. So, uh, first off, you guys gotta forgive me. I didn't know I was doing this until last night. Um, uh, it, it's been on stop since I got back. I landed at what, 3, 3 p.m. Friday and still was able to make it back home before Shabbat started. So, and it has not slowed down since then. So, um, Rabbi Busco, of course, uh, invited me to do this first. Um, so, um, to kind of talk about what about my experience there. Um, but uh, I was thinking about it, and thinking and thinking, and uh, I was actually, thank you. I'm not that tall. No. <laughs> um, and I was actually talking to uh, our own Alex, and I was uh, kind of, how do I convey what I experienced there. And words are just not enough. You, you, you can't just describe what you experience. You have to experience it for yourself. Landing in, in the land, in Israel, that's, you can't really express emotions. It's kind of hard. Like, how do you express the, the, the color red? Like, Rabbi 
uh, Wolby was talking about yesterday in YP. But you can't really describe the color red. You kind of have to experience it, you have to see it. You have to, you know, see it more often. You can differentiate between the, the shades of red. So, for me it's kind of hard. You know, when you walk into a yeshiva and you walk into the base medrash and everybody's, you know, reading, learning, yelling at each other, but it's, you know, friendly yelling. It's loud. So that, you can't really, you have to experience it for yourself. So of course, you know, everybody should go to, to a yeshiva, of course, or a seminary for, for whoever. But uh, I think one of the best ways to convey my experience was actually, uh, when I was there, you know, Daf Yomi, the new, the new cycle started. And on the, on page three, uh, actually on the third day of Daf Yomi was with kind of what stuck out at me, that kind of moved me in lack of better words. And it was uh, when the rabbis were talking about um, Davni in a ruin. And one rabbi actually came into a ruin into Davin, and Elijah comes up to him, and they start talking, talking about you know when they pray and all of this. So in one part, Elijah said, "What sound did you hear when you were in the room when you're Davin?" And I said to him, "I heard the heavenly voice that was cooing like a dove and saying, "Woe to the per to the sons because of whose sins I destroyed my house." and burned my temple, and exiled them among the nations of the world. And Elijah said to me, By your life and the life of your head, is it not only at this moment that the heavenly voice says this, but on each and every day it says this three times. And not only this, but at the time that the people of Israel enter these synagogues in the house of study and respond in the Kaddish, may his great name be blessed. The Holy One, blessed be he, shakes his head and says, Fortunate is the king who is praised in the way, this way in his house. And is there for any father, and is there for the father who has exiled his sons? And woe to the sons who have been exiled from their father's table. Now to me that kind of stuck out. Because I'm sitting in my dorm, I can open up my window, and I look out and I see the wall. That's the temple. That's the wall, that's the table. And I don't know about you guys, but for my father, if I was to be exiled, to be kicked away from this table, that, that would break my heart. And I would do anything I could to get back to this table. So for me, this, this moved me. I'm sitting in a base medrash, I'm learning Gemara and all of this. It's that sound, it's that house of prayer, that house of learning to get back to that table, yearning to get back to the temple. And, and that's, that's the best way I can convey that emotion. Um, because there's no other words. Um, thank you for YP for sending me there. It was a great experience. I got out of it what I wanted. Um, and I can't wait to go back.